Hello YouTube, today I'll be doing a review on the Alice in Wonderland app for the iPod Touch. One thing that you might need to note is that if you are jailbroken and using this, you may require to down it may require you to download swap mode. For me it didn't happen until I got through a few levels, but after that the app started quitting whenever I tried to play the game. If you don't know where, how to get that, then we'll link you to the video. Click on the on the video right now and it'll link you to how to get swap mode. If so, the app is crashing for you. So, now let's get into the app. Here's the main menu. You can see there's not a whole lot. There's just four options with some other buttons over here. But we're just going to continue my current game. If you haven't played before, that'll say new game. And this app is basically just a simple, pretty simple, two-dimensional puzzle platform game. So, basically, you're running through the levels, and you're going through the mirrors, like this one. Sometimes you'll have to collect the right amount of pieces. You just press this button to jump, these two buttons to move back and forth, and then you can also switch between characters as you go through the game. You collect different characters. So far, I have the White Rabbit and the Cheshire Cat, and each of them have a different ability. So this allows you to free to do things like freeze time. You press that button to examine things. But one ability allows you to freeze time, other makes allows you to make things invisible and visible. And it creates a really amazing puzzle experience. I'm really impressed with this app and it's a lot of fun to play. The controls are really nice. One thing that is kinda weird for me is that when you press the jump button you jump forward, which just it makes it makes it useful but I think it would have been just as good to have it just regular jump up that's the screen when you die and these torches serve as checkpoints so you just hit the pause menu up there and you have options go to map main menu one thing that I don't really like is that if you quit in the middle of a level you can't go back to that checkpoint but I sort of understand that too so we'll just go back to the main menu and then in the journal you have some things that you can unlock so these some of these things are in game some of them can also be really in real life like this one is the in the GPS it's got like the Dis Disneyland Resort Magic Kingdom Disneyland in Paris and then photos has there too dates and it's got like when it was written and when the attraction was added and stuff and then it's also got some riddles. So those are some just interesting things that you can unlock. And then in the options you've got the music volume and the sound effects volume. And in extras you've got the video game and you can talk about the platform, dif the different platforms or look at the screenshots or send to a friend and which will exit you out of the app. And then down here you've basically got the info, which is basically credits, the help screen, and the Disney store. So overall I really like this app. Like I said it's sort of annoying when it quits and you're jailbroken but that can be easily fixed with swap mode and it's five dollars which I think is a little expensive but I would still recommend downloading it and thanks for watching and please subscribe.